What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So we are midway through November and I am looking pretty rough with this whole no shave November thing, but we're getting through it. I know last week I slacked on the uploads and that's because I got caught up doing a whole bunch of housework. Um, right now I'm still battling uh, an issue I'm having with the bathroom fan. I've been going back and forth with a bunch of them, but I think I got the one I needed to get. And so today hopefully is the last day and I get everything installed and everything is working because basically in my bathroom, I have one unit with a light, fan, and a heater. And this new one brings two lights a fan and a heater so I have some wiring to do but that's fine I don't need to do it but I think I can get it done so I've been doing that and also I've been doing some things behind the scenes um, I know winter is upon us it gets dark here at like 5 30 which sucks so um, I know it's also getting cold so I know that I'm gonna have to be in the garage working some more so I mean I have a heater so I'm not worried about that but lighting is an issue here because as you can see, I have one, two, and only two lights in this garage. So I went out to the store, I bought some lights, some like light bars, I guess you can call them, um, to hang from the ceiling. So lighting should be better. So I'm just getting everything ready to be, you know, shooting videos for you guys here in the garage in the winter time when the days are shorter. But anyways, in today's video, we are going to be, holy crap is bright. We're gonna be taking my mom's CRV um, she has a 2016 CRV, and we're gonna do the transmission fluid change or flush or whatever you guys want to call it, and also the rear differential. So should be pretty easy. It's just it's all about draining the fluid, putting the correct amount in, and that's basically it. Twerking the drain and fill plugs, and I mean that's really all there is to it. Um, but. I don't want to pull the Subaru out, so we're going to do it outside. I think what I'm going to do to lift it easier because, like I said, I'm running out of time. The sun is going down. I'm going to put it on these ramps and put those jack stands underneath. That way it's a lot quicker. Um, I'll just drive up on them, work on it, and, I'll know it's, and I know it's going to be level, and then just drive off and I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll explain to you the process in case any of you guys watching want to do it yourselves. All right, guys, I don't know what the heck is up with that CRV, but it did not want to go up those ramps. So I turned every feature off, including traction control. Nothing helped it go up. So I tried getting a little bit of speed, still wouldn't go up. So it's like half, not even halfway, it's like a quarter of the way up the ramps. I chalked it in the back and I put the uh, jack stands on. So it's not going anywhere. So we're going to work with it like that because it's a little higher so we can get under there so in this little box we have everything we're gonna need we're gonna need a funnel to refill the trans um, a rag obviously uh, we need a pump to refill the diff we need a 3 8 ratchet to loosen the drain plug and to tighten the and loosen the fill plug and then tighten all the plugs as well so what I'm using is a half inch ratchet with a 3 8 adapter uh, just so it can be stronger and I can pull on it less and get it off easier. And then you need a 3 8 inch torque wrench as well because you have to torque down the drain plug and the fill plug. And then right here we have 
two quarts of this dual pump fluid. This is for the diff. It only takes 1.3, I believe, quarts. So obviously we needed more than one. So I got two. Um, we'll be measuring how much more we need after the first one. So we'll just keep pumping this until it starts draining from the fill plug. We'll know it's full. So that's that. And then we have five of these HCF-2 transmission fluid. This is what the car calls for. So this is what I'm going to put all genuine Honda stuff. And I got crush washers for both the drain plugs and the fill plug. So that's basically everything you need. So let's get to work. Oh, and one more thing you need is a drain pan to catch all the old oil and the creeper, but that's optional. All right, we're gonna start with the trans. So where you have to fill it is down here, right there, that little white plug right there. That's the fill. Um, it doesn't have a dipstick, it just has a plug. So it just pops out like that. Um, it tells you what fluid you need. So you always wanna pop the the cap off because you don't want to create a vacuum and this way all the old oil just flows right out all right so here we are under the car this is the motor oil drain pan the plug is right there you are looking for the trans which is on the driver's side and the drain plug is right here so like i said 3 8 drive crack it loose make sure the old fluid drains into a pan and dispose of it correctly and you're good to go Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is that the fluid comes out with a lot of force, so it like tries to all come out at once. So what I do is I try to just keep my hand there and keep the plug like halfway on and let it come down easily. If you're gonna do that, make sure that the car is cold because the fluid does get super hot and you're gonna burn yourself. So I know this car was cold. I just turned it on to move it right now. So I just kept my finger or my hand there with the plug halfway in let it drain easily and then I took it out once I knew there was barely anything left. As you can see here, let's see, put it in the background, right there, that's all the metal buildup on the drain plug so make sure you clean that off before putting it on. So here in my family we like to do it every, well for the first one we do it at 60,000 miles and then after that every 30. So. This car has 67,000 miles, so it's a little overdue, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this on once it's done draining completely, and we're gonna torque it down. Don't forget your new crush washer, and we'll start filling, and then we'll get to the diff. All right, so it's basically done draining. Um, I got my new crush washer there, so I'm gonna throw that on. Looking at my phone here, it says it needs 35 foot-pounds of torque to 36 foot pounds of torque um, for the drain plug so we're gonna go ahead and torque it down the drain plug for the diff requires 35 and so does the fill so 35 in the back and 36 for the single drain plug up front and right here I'm also looking at the capacity so as you can see this one is the CVT trans uh, all-wheel drive so it takes 4.5 quarts and the rear diff takes 1.3 quarts All right, got the trans drained. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our funnel in. Make sure it's clean. <laughs> All right, so going in. Gonna have to do this with two hands. Okay, I think it's in there. I'm gonna use my phone to make sure that nothing is coming out once I start filling it.
All right, so my funnel did work. I had to wedge it in there, but I had to pour it in very slowly. So it worked, but it didn't. So if you guys do it, use a different style funnel. Um, and then I kept checking to make sure I got half a quart in there for the last one, the fifth one, and I got it right on the money. So as you can see, it's getting dark on us. So let's jump right into the rear diff real quick. All right, so here we are under the back side of the car. Um, the fill plug is that right there on the driver's side. So always loosen that one first, but you don't have to take it completely off. So just loosen it. And then the drain plug, the drain plug is this one. This one is at the bottom of the diff on the passenger side. So once you loosen your fill plug, then you can take this off. When you go to reinstall them, don't mix up the crush washers because they are a different size. And again, it's a 3 8 drive. Just crack it loose and 35 foot pounds of torque to torque both of them down. All right, so like I said, you wanna start by loosening your fill plug first and then you can take your uh, drain plug off. Um, this one, you know, you can unscrew it all the way. Uh, there's not much fluid in there anyway, so it's not like it's gonna make a big mess. So just take it off completely and let it drain. Once it's done draining, you can go ahead and put your fill plug in. Remember to put your new crush washer on it and then tighten it by hand first and then get your torque wrench and torque it down to proper specs. 35 foot pounds and then you should be good to go and then now you can take your fill plug off completely so you can start pumping the new fluid in like I said I use this pump right here and the finger fatigue was real here so I had to keep pumping for a while and you basically have to pump fluid in until you see it starting to drain out of the fill plug that's when you know it's full and that's when you can take your hose out of there and torque down your fill plug with your new crush washer and you're good to go all right guys so we didn't beat the sun but we got it all done um, I had to record a lot of it with my phone so I don't know how the audio is gonna be and I wasn't really talking so I'll do a couple of voiceover for you guys um, just to let you guys know what I was doing so like I said we got it all done and now it's time to take it off the ramps and take it for a test drive all right guys, so before you drive it, you want to run it through every gear like two or three times, and then you can test drive it. So let's go ahead and do that. Reverse, neutral, drive. I'm guessing this is sport and low. And go back up. Now I'm ready to take it off the ramps and take it for a test drive. Guys, check this out. So I was up there working on the car, right? And I see, a Am I could tell it was an Amazon Sprinter van because of the marker lights up top. And it stopped like a third of the way up my driveway, maybe even a quarter, right? And it stayed there for a while. And then I went inside to wash my hands and I came back out and it was gone. I was like, that's weird, it never came up here. That is where I live, up my driveway. They literally came down here and literally dropped the package off in the middle of the driveway. What the heck? Some of these delivery drivers literally do the bare minimum. Like, I understand not wanting to go up the driveway because it's dark. I mean, it's only 5.45 right now. It probably came at 5.30. So it's not late. It's just, you know, dark. Okay. But leaving it in the middle of my driveway, what if I have guests over and they don't see it and they run over it? Then whose fault is it? Because they probably took a picture of it all nicely packaged on the driveway. And if we run it over, I guess it's our fault. That's, I don't know. It's not right. Anyways, so I'm driving. Uh, everything seems fine. No lights on the dash. I think we're all good as we should be. I mean, we all we did was drain fluids and put exactly the right amount in. So, driving nice. Can't even I mean, this is a CVT trans. So you can't even really feel when it's shifting, but 
like I said, it all feels like normal. So I think we're good. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.